Hello, I'm Sam Sia, the founder of Harlem Biospace. I grew up in Canada, went to school in Boston, and have been in Harlem for 16 years now. So that's really as long as I've been anywhere. So I consider myself a native uh, of Harlem as much as anywhere else now. Now, we started Harlem Biospace in 2013. And what are we trying to do here? We're trying to foster medical innovation. That's always been important to improve the health of, of people. But I think we're seeing more and more now how important it is during COVID and after COVID. So let me tell you a little bit about what Harlem Biospace uh, is about. And I'll talk about it in three different chapters. One is education, two is research, and three is community. So we started Harlem Biospace here as a place to foster biotech, life science innovation. It could be drugs, diagnostics, it could be devices. And why do we do it here in Harlem? Because there's a lot of great places in the United States and around the world for doing this kind of research. And there are great places around in other areas, but not, they're not usually in a place where it's connected to such a rich community like Harlem. And I think that's a big uh, issue coming up that you shouldn't necessarily have just people working in a lab and then at some point things get released into society. There's health disparities and health equity issues that we're all recognizing. And I'll come back to that in the third piece with community. Uh, but I think that's really what is special about what we're trying to build here is bridging the world of innovation and also in such a rich community as, as Harlem. Uh, but I'll come back to that at the end. Number one, I think it does start with education. And I wanna tell you a little bit about a sister initiative at Harlem Biospace that we call Hypothekids, where Hypothekids has reached out for the past uh, seven or eight years and really worked with the community side by side to really educate the, the next generation of, uh, of, of students. And so Hypothecate's an independent nonprofit. They offer science outreach programs focused on life sciences, which sometimes is a little bit intimidating to the general public. But, uh, but really when you're working with kids, they're not intimidated. And I think to get them to start early is really something special. And Hypothecate's, the word by the way, comes from the word hypothesis, which is something you formulate about how something might work. This is how something, you observe something, that's maybe how it could work, that's a hypothesis. And then you have to go test it. That's really part of the scientific process. But, and kids love to do that all the time. So hypothetic kids is really combining those two elements. And they have gone out and started a number of programs. They have started programs called Steam the Streets, which is kind of like STEM, but there's an arts element to it. So a science, technology, education, or what does E stand for? Okay, somebody will tell me and look it up, uh, but A is for arts. Uh, and so it's, it's, not, it's engineering. Oh man, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get in trouble for this. But uh, engineering, arts, and math. But there is also an art element to this because I think that's really what makes science and engineering fun as well, is to bring a little bit of uh, our artistic and personal creativity element. They've been doing that on the streets and showing the public uh, in a variety of neighborhoods, including Harlem. They've had programs for uh, elementary, middle school, and also high school students. The high school program is done with the Columbia School of Engineering, Biomedical Engineering, which is where I'm also a professor. But the, the high school kids here from underrepresented areas, it's competitive. They have to apply to get in. Talented kids who traditionally don't have uh, maybe uh, other, the means to, to, to you know, pay for some expensive uh, summer program, they can get in for free. And they will get a mini senior design program that the department teaches to senior undergrads. They will get that at the high school experience. And this is called the Hypothecates Maker Lab uh, and is led by uh, one of our great instructors who happens to be African American. He won a presidential a teaching award at Columbia, and he's doing this for the high school students. This is the, again, the, the maker lab uh, with Columbia. 
And currently what Hypothecus is doing now is going to NYCHA housing and really bringing that to, to close to people's homes. And so starting there, the kids love it, and also giving the, the, the kids who show an aptitude for this a pathway. And a lot of them have actually gone on to, uh, to colleges and uh, to leading colleges, and they have worked with companies at Harlem Biospace as well. The second thing I want to talk about is research. And research is something that obviously is at the heart of medical innovation. And we have a number of companies, we have 20 companies at Harlem Biospace, and we might grow this footprint in the upcoming years. But overall, when these companies start to grow, then there's employment, there's jobs available. Yes, for researchers to be working in labs, whether they have bachelors, undergrads, and PhDs, you do need some training. But there's also technician jobs. There's also a lot of other jobs where we can really uh, use help. You know, it, it's, a, it's a team sport. We need all sorts of uh, people to, to pitch in uh, alongside the researcher. So whether it's in a research role or in, uh, in a non-research role, their uh, life science is now is booming. Um, and uh, to, to have that take place in Harlem, I think is really exciting. It's really something special because it's not just sort of clustered away in some other area and then the innovations are, are let out and hopefully we can grow that footprint here in Harlem. The final thing I want to talk about, which I think is really important, is the community aspect. And this is where the linkages uh, between the innovators and the developers of new medical devices and, and so forth, I think have to really can benefit with working with the community. And it's a bi-directional exchange. There, the community can see, hey, there's some new vaccines coming up. There's some new tests coming out and really learn about it. It's not a mystery, it's to demystify it. Uh, but that sort of exchange is not one way, it's both ways. Because believe it or not, and I do this you know, as an as a inventor also, is we really benefit from talking to, to the end users. We should not be just sitting here coming up with apps, coming up with sensors and testing devices, coming up with things and then unleash it into the community. I think that's been a root, uh, a bit of a root problem, even in the history of life sciences, but including some of the issues we're seeing today with COVID. And so to really get that input from the community and then when things are developed, to share that with the community again, I think will enhance the quality of the products and will enhance the trust between these two groups. There's places in Harlem to do this. Co Columbia has built uh, the Forum building, which is shut down right now due to COVID, but they do have events open to the community. And we're also hoping to have more of those as COVID subsides in the factory district uh, where Carlin Biospace is and this big building, tasty building, 300,000 square foot building from Janus. There's spaces to have these sorts of events. And, uh, and really, I think that's really important to have, uh, we have Riverside Chats, we have these events that are completely open to the public to learn more about the life sciences. But the more the exchange is bi-directional, I think the better it is for everybody. I'm Sam Sia, founder of Harlem Biospace. And I think what we're trying to build here of having medical innovation take place in a community with as rich a history as Harlem is something that's unique. Bringing those two worlds together is really unique in the country and, and across the world. And we're excited to see how this grows in the future working with you. Thank you.